A flavorist, also known as flavor chemist, is someone who uses chemistry to engineer artificial and natural flavors. The tools and materials used by flavorists are almost the same as that used by perfumers with the exception that flavorists seek to mimic or modify both the olfactory and gustatory properties of various food products rather than creating just abstract smells. As well, the materials and chemicals that a flavorist utilizes for flavor creation must be safe for human consumption. The profession of flavorists came about when affordable refrigeration for the home spurred of food processing technology, which could affect the quality of the flavor of the food. In some cases these technologies can remove naturally occurring flavors. To remedy the flavor loss, the food processing industry created the flavor industry. The chemists that resolved the demand of the food processing industry became known as flavorists. Education <inaudible> 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 Educational requirements for the profession known as flavorist are varied. Flavorists are often graduated either in chemistry, biology or food science up to PhDs obtained in subjects such as biochemistry and chemistry. Because, however, the training of a flavorist is mostly done on the job and specifically at a flavor company known as a flavor house, this training is similar to the apprentice system. Located in Versailles, France, ISIPCA French School offers two years of high standard education in food flavoring including 12 months traineeship in a flavor company. This education program provides students with solid background in flavor formulation, flavor application, and flavor chemistry analysis and sensory. The British Society of Flavorists together with Reading University provide, every year, a three-week flavorist training course for flavorists from all around the world. Topic: Flavorist societies. In the United States, a flavorist can join the Society of Flavor Chemists, which meets in New Jersey, Cincinnati, Chicago, and the West Coast six to eight times a year. To be an apprentice flavorist in the society, one must pass an apprenticeship within a flavor house for five years. To be a certified member with voting rights, one must pass a seven-year program. Each level is verified by a written and oral test of the membership committee. As an alternative to training under a flavorist, rather than the above-mentioned cases, a 10-year independent option is available. In the United Kingdom, a flavorist can join the British Society of Flavorists, which meets near the London area. To acquire membership, applicants must be sponsored by at least two voting members, shall not be under 30 years of age, and shall have been engaged as a creative flavorist for a period of at least 10 years. To be an associate member, applicants must be either a full-time creative flavorist with at least four years' experience, a flavor application chemist, or a food technologist responsible for flavor blending, assessment, and evaluation for a period of at least five years, or a person of such standing in the flavor producing or using industries as satisfies the membership committee that he, she is eligible for membership. An associate member must be proposed by two voting members. To be a student member, the applicant must be a new entrant to the flavor industry, not yet able to qualify as an associate, and proposed by one voting member. 
To be an affiliate member, applicants must be technical and marketing consultants, commercial and technical managers having a direct relationship to the flavoring industry, and sponsored by three voting members. Topic: Prominent example. Pamela Lowe, a flavorist at Arthur D. Little and 1951 graduate of the University of New Hampshire with a microbiology degree, developed the original flavor for Cap'n Crunch in 1963. Recalling a recipe of brown sugar and butter her grandmother served over rice at her home in Derry, New Hampshire, Robert Bob Reinhardt developed a technique in the manufacture of Cap'n Crunch, using oil in its recipe as a flavor delivery mechanism, which initially presented problems in having the cereal bake properly. The cereal required innovation of a special baking process as it was one of the first cereals to use the oil coating method to deliver its flavoring. Having arrived at the flavor coating for Cap'n Crunch, Lowe described it as giving the cereal a quality she called, Want more ishness. After her death in 2007, the Boston Globe called Lowe, The mother of Cap'n Crunch. At Arthur D. Little, Lowe had also worked on the flavors for Heath, Mounds and Almond Joy candy bars. Topic see also Perfuma Universite Europeenne des Centres and Savoie